I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Sound defense. Good block that time by Hurricane. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Hurricane's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Wow, is he defensively sound. Big shot, the left crashed home. Nice job there, hooking to the body. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. And yet another big shot comes in. And down he goes after that left hand. Oh. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Hurricane showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. <laughs> Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Solid hook. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Hurricane's punch is far off the target. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Hey, listen. He's going to come forward this round. Keep that yab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? I need you to keep moving. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Now he ties up there. It's all right, just keep moving. Able to dismiss it. That right hand serving him well. Halfway through this round here. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, 
but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance, stay effective. Blocks away that headshot. His opponent has to be getting frustrated here. He had his man down, but now he keeps getting tied up. Look, I'm frustrated watching it. I don't care about his opponent. I don't have any pity. Hurricane's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. <gasps> now, here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. How you doing? Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Stay away from those. Come on. Solid left hand. Body shot lands. It was the right. Good flush. Straight left hand. Keep working the body. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Hurricane's movement's really helping nice him out, work. avoiding nice that work. punch. Nice block. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. Solid shot, the overhand left. And turns on that exchange. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Oh, that's a big hook right there. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Put some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. Tighten up your... Listen now, you're letting him work. You're letting him control this fight. You gotta impose your will on him. Kane's power has been the biggest difference in this fight so far, Teddy. As we start round number four and we take a look at your scorecard, he's up two rounds to one. Yeah, because of that knockdown, that was the difference. But it's still close enough for his opponent, just using his jab, fundamentals, the things that he has to do to still get back in it. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He scored well after being hit himself. Hurricanes making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head.
Some serious damage done on that power shot to the head. Dropped his hand, paid a price. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. He didn't see that left hand. And it, what a big shot. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five, six. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. He's tied. He's tied. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times tonight. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Looking good. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. A flush hook scores well for him. Kane's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. that left right there solid how is this gonna go on once again he hits the deck well he's getting practice at it so he might figure it out one two three four five six seven eight nine so he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Well off the mark by Hurricane. Last 10 seconds. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. Three. You good? Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them 
to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in 11th. Is this another one of those nights? And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Hurricane's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Halfway through Finish round six. Well-placed left hand there. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Head and body, head and body. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. He engages in the clinch. And clicks of the talk. Oh. Yeah, Precision work with the left hand by Hurricane. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all-time classic. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep him up. He's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Keep him away from you. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside them. And he's responding just that way. Carries that punch away. Good step back counter punch there. Hurricane's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Crashes home with the uppercut. Halfway through the seventh round. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. There you go. Scored well up top. by a tremendous power punch. Move! He missed with that headshot. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. He returned fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them, and one of them is being eliminated.
This has turned out to be a good-looking fight. Teddy, I think it's clear to see that Hurricane's in control of this fight. He's up on your scorecard, as we can see. But to it's box. been a tough night. Yeah, and it's also clear to see that his opponent has a chance to come back because he has been competitive every bit of the way. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Able to cover up that gut. The halfway point of round number eight. Protecting his head well with his guard. Back to basics here, as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in. You want to stay on the outside? Use that jab. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. On the mark with the straight left hand. And round eight comes to an end. Hurricane's in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't, like in football, go into that three-fat defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody... He falls victim to that big, big shot there. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's over. This fight is over. Hurricane's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.